Fox News alert on new details coming in on the big story breaking over the last hour involving a case of what is being called domestic terrorism in our nation's capital. Welcome to America Live, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. Moments ago, police in Washington, D.C. credited what they called quick thinking by a security guard for heading off what could have been a brutal attack on the Washington offices of the Family Research Council, a conservative advocacy group. Sources tell Fox News that a suspect walked into the building, commented on some policies, and then opened fire. A security guard named Leo Johnson was shot in the arm. He was conscious and breathing when taken to the hospital thereafter and is, we're told, expected to survive. The FBI has the suspect in custody. Sources say he is a 28-year-old Virginia man who may have had multiple weapons. Police met briefly with reporters moments ago. Basically what happened is we had a person who uh, entered uh, the Family Research Center on the corner of 8th and G Street Northwest. Um, once he entered, he was confronted by a security guard. Um, he opened fire on the security guard. The security guard was struck, um, is right now receiving treatment. He's in stable condition. Um, the security guard and others uh, wrestled the suspect down to the ground. Um, and he is in custody. So we have one person, the security guard, who's been shot and is stable. We have the suspect in custody. And really, that's all we know at this point. Tony Perkins is the president of the Family Research Council. He has been a guest on this broadcast many times in the past. He released a statement saying right now his group's concerns lie with the victim and his family. We will bring you more from the Family Research Council as we get it. 